Hello! Well, it's back on. The debate about eggs is back on the agenda. And some of you who are quite current, you have seen a recently published article and you've expressed concern uh, regarding eggs. Well, you wonder whether you should be eating eggs at all, and if so, how many eggs you should be eating daily, especially those of you who've got high blood pressure, you're really worried. Uh, you've asked for some guidance, and here we are. I've got a guidance for you. So, we'll be talking about eggs in a couple of seconds. I'll see you after the challenge intro. Now, for today's 2020 idea to better health, please welcome on stage, Dr. Joe. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. I'm Dr. Joe of the DrJoe.com. If this is your first time on this channel, can I extend a warm welcome to you? This is your home of 2020 ideas to better health. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. So what sparked this debate about eggs all over again? Well, it was the result of a recently published article in the Journal of American Medical Association that talked about the fact that if we consume additional 300 milligrams of cholesterol daily, we will increase our risk of cardiovascular disease by 17% and also increase our risk of premature death by 18%. The study was carried out over an average of 17 years. So that was good. Another good thing about the study is that the researchers were able to isolate the uh, consumption of eggs and its effect from all other foods that actually contain cholesterol. So that's good. Having said that, they did it at a similar point in the study. They didn't do it over the 17 year period of the study. So that's not gr so great because as you know, our diets do change over time. Uh, what I was eating five, seven years ago is not quite the same as I'm eating today. So that too is, another, is, is a small limitation. Uh, the other good thing is, well, it, the study has brought eggs back on the agenda, so we're talking about it. So that's another good thing. We've talked about the good things about the study. What about the limitations of the study? Well, for a start, it's based on self-reported data, which means it relies on memory. Uh, in which case, well, you know, we're all different. Some people have fantastic memory, others don't. So that will influence the outcome of the study. The second thing is, it's an observational study, which means it cannot establish cause and effect. It can only establish statistical correlation. Uh, what does that mean? It means that the study really cannot say that if you consume eggs, uh, it will cause you to develop cardiovascular disease or cause you to die prematurely. But it can say, well, there is an association between the two. So, you know, that's a limitation that you need to be aware of. Another limitation of the study is that, well, it's a population-based study, which means, uh, well, it, it, it ignores uh, things like genetics. So, uh, you know, how we handle our cholesterol is different. It, it differs from person to person. So, some people might be eating 8, 10 eggs a day, and they're fine. Uh, in the same vein, some other person will eat the same number of eggs daily, and they'll be running into difficulties. They will have heart attacks or strokes. So um, it's, it's something that we have to take into consideration when we are looking at a study like that. There are genetic differences which will not be reflected in the study results. In fact, there's research evidence to suggest that eating eggs is actually good for HDL cholesterol, which is a good cholesterol. So there you go. You know, that's the thing about nutritional studies. Uh, we tend to get conflicting results. So one study is saying it's bad for you, another study is saying it's good for you. <laughs> uh, you, you go figure. So, um, the next question then arises, should you be eating eggs? Well, of course, yes, is the answer to that question. Uh, you should eat eggs if that's what you want to do. Uh, because eggs are nutritious, they are a wholesome food. Eggs contain uh, macronutrients as well as micronutrients. Uh, they contain proteins, they contain a small amount of uh, carbohydrates. They are low calorie food. And, you know, they also contain vitamin b2 vitamin b12 vitamin b6 uh, iodine magnesium vitamin a vitamin d uh, so they contain a whole host of nutrients so consuming eggs should constitute part, part and parcel of of your diet actually uh, i will encourage it and then the next question then arises how many eggs should i eat daily well as far as i'm concerned you can eat up to three eggs daily without any problems the reason for this is this you are allowed 300 milligrams of daily consumption of cholesterol and, and, and an average egg will give you about 100 milligrams of cholesterol so if you're eating three that will bring you up to the 300 milligrams of daily cholesterol allowance so you are well within the limits 
having said that you have to take into consideration other sources of cholesterol so if, if you are eating a lot of red meat you may want to take down take that into consideration and reduce the number of eggs you're actually eating okay so three eggs are allowed but take into consideration how much cholesterol you're getting from other sources next question is if i've got high blood pressure how many eggs can i eat daily good question well here's the thing if your high blood pressure is well controlled okay if your blood pressure is well controlled then you can eat the same number of eggs as somebody who hasn't got high blood pressure simple as that you can eat the same three uh, eggs a day taking into consideration your other sources of saturated fat okay um so that that is the crucial point all right if your blood pressure is well controlled you're fine but if your blood pressure is not well controlled and you've got other risk factors then of course you want to reduce the number of eggs you eat daily it sort of makes sense you have to reduce the number because you've got other risk factors and the more risk factors you have for heart attacks and strokes then you know the less number of eggs you are allowed daily now if you are concerned here's something i i, I would suggest you do if you've got other risk factors what i suggest you do is you eat the number of eggs that you think uh, is okay for you and then but do your blood lipid profile six months apart at least have two test results so you can compare one with the other so you do one today and then another one six months later and see how your lip your blood lipids are behaving if they are fine then you're fine you know you can carry on but if there's a problem with your lipids uh, in particular your total cholesterol and your triglycerides then of course you may want to uh, have a rethink of how many eggs you're eating you may have to reduce your consumption does that mean Make sense great so I, I think that's about it as far as this video is concerned I've talked a lot uh, uh, you're allowed to eat eggs you can eat uh, up to three eggs a day uh, uh, if you've got uh, risk factors you may want to consider reducing the number uh, and also uh, if you've got risk factors uh, then you're gonna have to think about you know doing your blood test six months apart have about at least two tests usually maybe three uh, that way you can reassure yourself that you're doing the right thing so well if you like this video please uh, as usual give the thumbs up uh, if you've got any questions uh, please ask uh, tell me about your egg consumption in the uh, in the comment section uh, I like to hear what you what you think about what I've just said uh, and also uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel please do subscribe the subscription button is just right in the bottom right corner um, I think that's what oh by the way uh, if you enjoy this video please do share it with a friend or family member okay we like you to share the knowledge you know sharing is caring uh, I think that's about it until next next time well this is dr joe signing out